Hey, welcome back to another Insider. And today we continue uh, talking about um, content, uh, content creation and the relevance of uh, creating content in, as a part of our marketing campaign for our business. So today we are talking about um, how to create the best content and what type of content should we create in order to attract the right client. So come with me. Let's talk content creation. So let's talk about content creation and what should we do when we create content. We all know that um, sometimes content creation is um, the big elephant in the room. Uh, not everyone feels confident about creating content online. Um, some people don't really enjoy writing. Other people don't enjoy doing videos. Um, and it's really hard sometimes to decide what is best and what you should do and should you do it, should you not, um, what's the, the, the best practice here. So today I am talking about content creation and what you should do, uh, in my opinion, what you should be doing in order to keep your content coming and to cater for the right audience. So first of all, you must be relevant to your client or audience. And when I say audience, I say this because sometimes you may not be catering for your clients. Um, for example, uh, if you have a channel like this one, uh, you're not really catering for an audience. You're not really catering for your clients. You're catering for your colleagues. You, you catering for someone who wants to run a business like yours. In my case, I'm here to help other translators uh, to um, run their business and I'm sharing my experience of running my business with you so you can um, take ideas from me in order to run yours. So obviously here I talk about translation because it's the main uh, topic of this channel. So when I create my content, when I plan my videos, I always uh, talk about translation because that's what my audience in this channel or the audience that I want to have in this channel is interested in. You guys are interested in things regarding translation and running a translation business. Therefore, every time I choose my content, I choose translation. However, in my other channel, The Flying Gadgets, I cater for my clients. I talk about aviation because it's my specialization. I cater for aviation and because it's a topic that I really like. Um, I talk about planes, I talk about airlines, I talk about news on in the aviation industry and things that might interest my clients. So this is what uh, being relevant means. You need to produce content that it's going to be relevant or interesting for the audience that you want to target. Once again, never talk translation with your clients. They do not want to hear about translation. They, uh, they want you to do the translations for them. They do not want to know about uh, how do you do your job or what should be done in your job or how you should run your business or how you do run your business. They're not interested in any of that. So that's a mistake that a lot of translators do, me included, and I have mentioned this before. Um, I was creating a channel that was too general, that was going to, that was talking about translation and, um, things re related uh, uh, to translation and then I realized this is a mistake because my clients do not want to hear about translation. They're not translators, they are not uh, interested in running a translation business, otherwise they would not be my clients and um, I need to change this and this is what I did. So I created something about aviation and I talk about aviation because it's my specialization. So be relevant. Be, you must be interesting to your client. You must produce something that captures your audience, something that um, uh, 
you know, they, they're going to like if you can present something new uh, that you have learned, a new technology, a new information, um, a new product in the market, uh, if it's relevant for the industry that you work with. You must be interesting. You must be adding something that it's quite interesting and that they will like hearing. For example, in my case, I, I like to talk about um, news in aviation um, and I really focus on everything that it's uh, climate change related and obviously all the work that the aviation industry has been doing in order to meet its target zero because obviously I want to do that too and I believe in this industry and I think they're doing a great job trying to um, minimize the the carbon emissions etc so um, I always uh, do uh, my research and I look uh, for initiatives for airline initiatives plane manufacturers anything related to this topic and if I find something related to this topic I'm obviously going to talk about it just to show not only to show um, you know that sector that I'm really committed to to their industry and to their work but also to to inform the general public that uh, the aviation uh, industry is actually working actively to do something about this it's not that big polluter that sometimes um, people think they they are and uh, and like this you having this channel uh, or that channel not this one having the, the, those videos and talking about this it actually allows people to understand that there's something to be done so something interesting not only for uh, your clients but for the general public and it must be cultural flu culturally fluent you know that each country has its own culture etc so when you produce your content again it's all about your audience you need to choose your audience you need to know exactly who you want to be reading your articles or to be watching your videos whatever you produce and then everything should roll around that audience so you need to know the culture of that audience you must know the language properly and everything must roll around what they do and what they want to do etc etc so very 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 important what you need to do is cater everything around that that culture and the, that audience so if uh, if there is cultural uh, traces that need to be pr present in your content in order to make it culturally fluent in order to be in sync with the cultural values of your audience you have to do it and you have to be aware of that localization issues for example things like that so this is the main things that you should be um, thinking and most of all you must create content that you are uh, um, confident and comfortable with having said that it's always important that sometimes we go out of our comfort zone but we still need to do it in a way that we produce good content for example i have never thought about creating video content in my life and once i decided well i'm going to try to create a youtube channel and have video content about uh, translation i started with translation as you know this was my first channel and then i created the second channel that was about um aviation so um you need to uh, sometimes get out of your comfort zone yes but you still need to um, be uh, relatively comfortable with the content that you create because if you're not comfortable at all if you don't think you have knowledge and en enough to create that content then you won't be successful because you won't attract that attention so you need to be um comfortable you need to set yourself if you set yourself to go out of your comfort zone you need to set yourself for that and you need to understand well this is not exactly what i usually do this i've never done this but you need to get into your head that if you set yourself for it you need to go and do it because 
uh, the worst thing that can happen is having inconsistencies and then if you um, publish content today and then you three months without content and then you publish again that is really not um, ideal at all because um, your audience you know they don't know exactly who you are what you do because they may see a post today and then three months they don't see anything they forget about it of course uh, and then another post and say oh this person is coming back but then you disappear again so it needs to be consistent you if you set yourself for a, a whatever content you want to create you need to understand that you need to be consistent and you, the frequency needs to be there doesn't mean that you have to publish every day just create a certain um schedule where you post in that particular schedule either weekly monthly um whatever suits you best but keep that consistency so your clients or your audience already knows that every week you're going to publish every fortnight you're going to publish or every month you're going to publish something like that keep that consistent don't um don't publish just when something comes to mind because that is not a good thing and at the end of the day if you know what you're doing if you are talking about something that you do well and you know how to then it should be natural and it should be uh, all right for you to create that content as long as you feel comfortable with so for today i hope you like this insider i hope um it really um showed you uh, that it really it really doesn't need to be very difficult or or anything like that you can create content that it's simple that you like you don't need to create videos you don't need to create vlogs you don't need to create blogs you just need to create something that you like if that something is for example post post a nice sentence um, and entice your your audience to to reply or or something like that it might be an interesting way of doing marketing and it might be an interesting way of keeping your audience engaged as long as you keep your audience engaged and you do something that really um attracts them and it's pleasant to you as well then you can't go wrong but as i said you need to keep that consistency you need to keep that frequency so your clients know you there your clients know you are active your clients know you are open for business that's the main important all of this uh, can be uh, accessed in my courses you know at teachable i have my school updated words learning you can access my courses and my plans through teachable so um come come along and enroll today you can either go for the three courses individually and that is choosing the right um, qualification in translation, the business course for translators and the creating your own tools course. Um, you can access these courses individually um, and choose the one that you think suits you best or you can combine them in the plans. You have the pro plan where you have the qualifications and business course um, together then you have the uh, business plan where you can combine the business course and the tools course with five mentoring sessions with me and for at last you can if you want if you are really starting and you want overall um help and, and uh, 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 overview of what this business is about you can go for my full mentoring program that gives you access to the three courses and 15 mentoring sections with me so um, come along enroll today and start enjoying this wonderful profession um, you know uh, in regards to this video put a like and subscribe the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a new insider every week before i go i would like to thank you all for watching see you next week thank you bye